Evening, I'm Emma Allen in for Lisa Hudson tonight. We start our newscast off from Dallas County where we continue to follow the mass shooting tragedy from yesterday that took the lives of now four people and wounded 10 others, including two law enforcement officers. We know now that four victims remain hospitalized tonight, including a woman who is in critical condition at UAMS in Little Rock, and three victims have since been released from the Dallas County Medical Center. We also know the identities of the four people whose lives were lost. 62-year-old Shirley Taylor, 23-year-old Callie Weems, 50-year-old Roy Sturgis, and 81-year-old Ellen Shrum. We told you in our 10 p.m. newscast on Friday that 44-year-old Travis Posey was arrested and charged with four counts of capital murder. We know now that Posey could face additional charges. He has since been treated for non-life-threatening injuries and was taken to the Washita County Detention Center. Channel 7's Kayla Christian spent the day in Fort Ice finding out what's next for the community. She joins us now with the details. Hearts were heavy today in Fordyce as many are still in shock that their small town fell victim to a tragedy like this. It's just tragic, you know, it's just tragic. The parking lot of the Mad Butcher store was left bare where dozens of bystanders, officers, and first responders were just a day ago. One man who was at the dollar store next door recalled the moments the shooting began. It was a bunch of banging. It sounded like somebody was working on something or, or banging on something. But come find out, another dude was doing all the shooting. His car eventually joined a fleet of others taken to the Fordyce Police Department as evidence. Many riddled with wreckage and bullet holes. A back window had been shot. Front window had been shot. I got bullet holes in my tailgate, inside my truck. But it's about... Like I said, I counted, I think, 33 shots through my truck altogether. The situation leaving many uneasy about the future. It's the first time I ever seen anything like this happen. Mm -hmm. And there was nobody got no reason why it's happened. The shooting that claimed the lives of four and injured multiple others has already affected many in the community. Now with mental health facilities offering free services to those in need. We're available for, for the people in our community. Um, we want to make sure that they get the assistance and the help that they need. A lot of these traumatic experiences can, can um, you know, be very devastating and potentially cause um, some mental illness that, you know, needs to be addressed. Not only providing a safe space, but take home resources for families and individuals as well. With mental illness, it can come with a lot of different signs and symptoms. So one of the big things we're doing here is we're also educating on, on things to look for, um, days to come and weeks to come. Uh, we want to make sure our, our patients and communities are aware of, of what to watch for with mental illness. Now, the city is quiet as they reflect on where they've been and where they're going, with multiple signs requesting prayers for Fordyce. We want to love on people. We want to be available for people. We want to um, provide support for our community. Um, I think that when people are hurting, that's, that's the time where we come together and we take care of one another, and Fordyce does that so well. I feel confident that Fordyce will be able to come together and really love on each other and take care of each other during this, this tough time. I'm praying for Fordyce everything gets all right. The Dallas County Medical Center Stepping Stones facility will be providing their services through Monday as well as more free counseling at the Fordyce High School. The Point Outpatient Services in Fordyce will also be welcoming the community among other agencies. On your side, I'm Kayla Christian. Kayla, thank you for that update. The owners of the Mad Butcher grocery store, Houchins Food Group, sent in a statement to KATV following the tragedy, saying, quote, we are deeply saddened by the shooting incident that occurred Friday at the Fordyce Mad Butcher grocery store, which is owned and operated by Houchins Food Group. We're thankful for the rapid response from local authorities who apprehended the suspect and secured the area. Corporate and store officials are fully cooperating with law enforcement during the investigation. The store will remain closed until the investigation concludes. Please keep our employees, customers, and the Fordyce community in your thoughts and prayers.